In this video, I'll show you my failed attempt at harvesting chlorella. I'll give a brief intro on why I chose to start growing chlorella and why I'll be focusing on spirulina from now on. At the end of the video, I'll show you how chlorella reacts to a 5% bleach solution. I had originally started growing chlorella because I thought it would be an easier algae to grow indoors than spirulina. At least this was what I wanted to experiment with. From what I was reading, it seemed like chlorella needed a little bit less sodium bicarbonate, a little lower room temperature, less light. So in many ways, it seemed like that would have been the more ideal algae to grow. However, I believe the harvesting process is enough of an obstacle that spirulina is just a lot easier. It's much more well known. It's actually been harvested for thousands of years. So I think I'm just going to stick with the easier <laughs> algae here, or blue-green algae, cyanobacteria, spirulina. Here's the chlorella at 40x and 100x, looking very healthy and dense. The pH was 12, and the SESHI reading was 2.5 centimeters. So far, so good. I attached the 0.3 micron filter to the wide mouth mason jar and tried to pour water through. It's typically used for growing mushrooms and had a wax-like sealed side that prevented water from passing through it. Filters with this fine of a mesh were pretty difficult to find, so my choices were limited. This obviously defeats the purpose, but I was running out of ideas and I decided to poke a bunch of holes into my filter. <laughs> so although the filter caught some of the chlorella, it really didn't do very much. Everything just passed right through it and I wasn't able to gather enough chlorella to really call it a harvest. I think you just need really special equipment to harvest it. It's such a small cell that I can't use the same sized mesh and sieve that I use for my spirulina. The chlorella is just, you know, around one to two microns in size and it's spherical. So it's just like a little ball rolling through the larger mesh. So I have a smaller filter that I used for the chlorella, but it just wasn't enough. Um, I had quite a bit. I had um, some in this mason jar and in this jar here, but I think when it comes to just at home growing of algae, you really need some more special equipment for the chlorella. I tried to poke holes in it with a needle and you can see a little bit of collection in the filter, but it's not it's not anything that I can scrape and run some experiments with. So I'm just gonna throw the towel in for this, even this small of a hurdle for me to do a at home farming of chlorella, harvesting and doing any experiments or trying to find some benefits out of it is too much. So I'm just gonna to stick to spirulina. I think I'll be open to other alga in the future, but for now I wanna focus on spirulina. So. Um, let me know if you have experimented with growing chlorella at home. Were you able to harvest it well? Did you use it for your own consumption? Did you feed it to fish? Um, I would love to hear from you what your experience has been and what kind of materials or methods that you used. All right. Thanks so much.